Each generation has a distinctive moment of tragedy that unifies them as Americans. For our grandparents, it was the bombing of Pearl Harbor, December 7th. For our parents, it was the assassination of President Kennedy, November 22nd. And for us, it was the attack on America, September 11th, 2001. On this day, it is nearly impossible to escape the question, where were you on September 11th? Students and Lafayette residents gather in front of Hubdi Hall to honor those lost on September the 11th, 2001. Today marks the 10th anniversary of September the 11th, and Purdue University hosts several events in remembrance. Of those in attendance were West Lafayette Mayor John Dennis and Purdue President France Cordova. Through my years in law enforcement and my experience in leading a city, I don't think there's any day that sticks out in my mind as Tuesday, September 11th, 2001. On that particular day, oddly, I was on the East Coast. I was with a few of my colleagues getting some federal training. We woke up Tuesday morning getting ready for class, and all of a sudden on every channel on TV was an image of an airplane flying into the World Trade Center. We shared the same emotions that everybody else around the country and probably around the world shared. That was one of fear and one of confusion. We had no idea, nor did the commentators have any idea, what actually was going on. And as we were trying to actually grasp the significance of that incident, a second plane flew in to the World Trade Centers. Well, quite clearly, I'm a mayor now. In those days, I was a deputy chief of police, but I was also a father and a husband. And I shared some of the same very fears and confusion of my colleagues and the rest of the citizens of this country. The first thing I did was to reach out and call my wife, Mary. I wanted to reassure her that everything's okay. We might not understand the significance of these events, but everything's okay. I asked Mary, who's a natural born citizen of Ireland, what are your feelings? And I think she summed it up best in one word, shocked, shocked. Several students gave their recollection of where they were on the day the planes hit. President Cordova spoke of the story of one Purdue alumnus and how she was called to protect the United States. It's a moving tribute on this 10th anniversary to hear from all of our speakers. The events of 9-11 clearly changed them and all of us watching here today as a nation, as individuals, and as an institution. On this day, I'm grateful for our military men and women, our first responders, our researchers who now study homeland security as a discipline at Purdue and around the world, our very well-known Military Family Institute, and for each of you who shared your memories and thoughts with us today. Earlier, student Mike Cross told us that he looked out of his fifth grade window and saw an F-16 flying overhead. Well, Michael, the person in that F-16, was a Purdue alumna. Heather Penny was in the first class of women to be combat pilots in F-16s, and that was her first big mission that day. She happened to be at the spot, and she was called upon at Andrews Air Force Base to accompany another pilot, and the two of them, their instructions were to take down United Airlines Flight 93. And so she said, but wait a minute, we don't have anything to shoot at them. And then she realized what that meant. And the other pilot said, I'll take the cockpit. And she said, I'll take the tail. Unknown to them, while they were in flight, the passengers of Flight 93 had the same idea. So students, you just simply don't know when your moment is called, when you are called upon to make that sacrifice. Heather Penny was ready. She was very willing. She is grateful that she is alive today and dedicated to remembering 9-11 and her moment. I want to thank everyone who participated in this ceremony. You've helped make this anniversary one of remembrance and hope.